Coffee every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden gives us great advice for do-it-yourself home improvements. Today, he talks about feeding your plants to keep them looking great. So now you have spent all that money on plants. You get excited, you go to the garden center, boom, boom, boom. Well, now it's time to take care of them. So first of all, starting with the proper soil. So we always recommend soil is mixed because that's what the plants are actually grown in. Now, my complaint with these companies are, see right here, it has feeds up to six months. And not to be outdone, then these guys, Schultz came up, feeds up to nine months. There's no way. There's no way in a container, maybe in the ground where nothing moves, but in a container hanging basket, the water leaches everything through. And if you're counting on that being your fertilizer for the season, you are going to be very disappointed. So it's very important. You spent the money on the plants. Now you have to feed them. Now, I just like to use regular miracle Grow like this. And you can use it in a, uh, you just mix it up in a sprinkling can. I don't have that kind of time. So <laughs> I just use a five-gallon bucket. So it's a couple scoops to three gallons. And it's, it's real simple. Just mix it up. Water turns blue. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then you just take it, and I just take it, and I dump it on the plant. So once a week, once every 10 days, that's how you get beautiful plants. Plants are being fed in the greenhouse. So all those little tubes, we, we're pumping fertilizer, and so they're getting fed a trace amount each day. So when the, you get them home and you think you can fertilize them just once a season, then you're disappointed. So you can do that. If you can't manage that, at least get some Osmocote. Osmocote is kind of a season long, and you can sprinkle that in on top of the plant. Pretty simple. They make it pretty simple. This is a miracle Grow. You hook your hose up to it. It's like starting an IV for your plant. Put that on, put it, set it on feed, and you're ready to go. So that's another way to do it. When the bottle's empty, you get another one. So you have to take care of them. Then what are, what's going to happen? The plants are going to get kind of long and stringy, like this is one. So don't be afraid on these vegetative annuals. You cut them, trim them up. And when you trim them up, trimming encourages growth. So there's one that, I pruned, that got cut about three days ago, and you can already see the new growth coming, and that's how you get nice, thick plants. Matter of fact, hanging baskets, the quality ones, have already been trimmed back before you ever buy them. So that's what you have to do to take care of annuals. Now, if you can't do that, if you know who you are and you can't handle this, this is vegetative, so this takes a lot of water, and you have to water it daily during the summer, and because if you don't, this is gonna go completely flat. If you are that person, and you know that you cannot water that, maybe another basket is in your future. So here's what I would recommend. Sun, geraniums. They take very little water. Shade, either a begonia, that's a Rieger begonia, takes very little water, or a dragon wing begonia like this over here. All right, those are things. You know who you are. Can you handle it? Maybe not. All right, Pat, thank you so much.